Alright guys, here, here I am, I'm eating the fries again. I don't think I'm going to share them with Katie, because they're so good. Hey, my great and foodie family. Here we are at Havali. It is uh, Northern Indian food. Um, the waiter told us Havali is, it roughly translates to uh, like a large family estate or a manor. It definitely feels like family. As soon as we walked in, the waiter was really nice, yes. very talkative, helped us out with uh, deciding food on the menu, mm -hmm. talked to us you know, a little bit about what they have had to offer, and uh, a little bit of history and stuff on um, Indian yeah. cuisines and stuff. So. Yeah, uh, makes amazing drinks. They have happy hours, so I went ahead and I got an adios. Uh, $7 and uh, it feels like probably $20 worth of alcohol. Oh. And the good news <laughs> is it's all day long. So it's um, it's over here off of Buena Vista, 3300 Buena Vista Road. Um, so it's, you know, it's kind of on the outskirts of town. Um, but definitely so. If you guys are out here in this area, definitely check it out. Mm -hmm. We'll let you guys know how the food is here in a second. Yeah, um, we're waiting for it. They're cooking it right now. So I wanted a garlic naan and I wanted their cheese naan. They went ahead and they did. They combined it for me. Instead of me having to get two, they they accommodated me. Pretty awesome already. Hey, cheese and garlic naan. Mm. Gonna be so good. <laughs> All so. right, we'll show you the food in a minute. All right, guys. Here we go. We got the samosas and we got the. Loaded tikka masala fries, or loaded masala fries. Um, as you see, Katie's already doing happy dance there. <laughs> She's excited for this food. So, I'm not eating any fries, I'm eating uh, samosas. The veggie samosas. Veggie samosas. Um, we have the tamarind sauce. And we have, guys, I've already been into this and I know it's good. But we have a mint sauce as well. Our camera messed up, so we didn't record the first bites. So we're redoing halfway through. But this mint sauce. Is a thousand times better than tamarind sauce. But they're both good. Oh. I like the mint sauce. Absolutely amazing. Um, I see Katie. She usually loves this. So, um, medium spice level for the fries. It's not super spicy. Um, I think that's great spice level for me, but I have a low tolerance to heat. So for the fries, you can do chicken, like Katie was saying, veg vegetarian style, which is like cheese curds on top. They also have uh, beef and lamb. Does it have lamb for them as well? Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh my gosh, so these fries, I, I'm telling you guys, if you come, come out here and check this place out, you must get these loaded masala fries. They are to die for. So it looks like they have, they're um, like in between steak fries and shoestring fries. They have the mint sauce, which is this sauce, they have a drizzle. They have the tamarind sauce. They have that drizzled on there already. And cheese. And then that's it. Chicken, cheese, and the two sauces. And grilled onions. Very, very good. So uh, we're waiting for the rest of the food and uh, we'll show you guys how that is and how it tastes. All right, my foodies. So I did the vindaloo, chicken vindaloo. Uh, they have lamb and chicken. I did chicken and I did the spicy. So they have mild, medium, spicy, and Indian spicy. Indian spicy next. And actually our waiter created a double Indian spicy. Double Indian spicy. I'm excited for that. He said that is one of our challenges. I might have to take it. I like spicy. But here is the just the regular spicy. <laughs> what flavors are you getting? How spicy is it? It's not spicy. I should have done it in spicy. I will warn you, if you don't do spicy well, probably don't do this one. It is, I can taste a hint of spice. Um, it has potatoes, it has chicken, it has rice. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, definitely be cautious, so if you think you can take spice, but you're like, mm, I would definitely do it. Work your way into it. Mm -hmm. But, here we go, here's a potato. <laughs> She already loves potatoes, so can you imagine the Indian spice is not with a potato? It's a win. Perfect. Cooked, it is so soft. And um, it's a win. I don't really have too much description for this, you have to taste it. So come try it. Yes, definitely do. Alright, so I'm excited for this one. They are watching this place. Um, they do an Indian Mexican fusion. 
So here it is a wet wrap. Just kind of like wet burrito, like Katie was saying earlier. Um, I did a lamb, so it has lamb in it. Looks like onions, all the spices. Um, and the sauce on top is uh, like a masala sauce? Masala sauce. It's a non bread, not a tortilla. Garlic non bread. Mm, garlic, gotta go with garlic. Mm -hmm. So, I'm excited to try it. I'll be trying it after these stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that there. Some lamb, bread, a sauce. Mm. He did a happy dance. <laughs> that right there. Oh, the flavor. The creaminess of that sauce. The texture of the lamb with the garlic naan. Oh my gosh. It comes together so well. So good. Um, I highly recommend check this out because it's unique too. I think to all the different Indian places we've been to here in town, we haven't came across one that does a Indian Mexican fusion here like this. Like Katie said, you guys need to be out here to try it. Okay, so we were mentioning Cavalli does the Mexican Indian fusion. They do tacos. We got the lamb tacos. It is on a corn tortilla. Essentially, it's a Mexican taco with onion, cilantro, and Indian spice. So like he was saying, they put the Indian spices, you got the different seasonings on top, the Indian seasonings, and then the sauces. That lamb is so tender. Sometimes lamb has a gamey taste, this has no game, no game taste at all. The tortillas are crispy. Mm -hmm. That's the issue we come to a lot is they kind of just don't fry them. They don't fry. It has cilantro, onions, tomatoes. Very good. And that was about time to try it. Alright, here we go. Little street tacos. That's all it is. It's a street taco. That's a good explanation. There's mm -hmm. like street tacos. There you go. I'll go and show you guys one more time. Mm. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I mentioned before, I'm not a huge fan on tortillas. Um, usually they come out too soft, too chewy, or just lacking flavor. But just by feeling this one here, like he said, it has a crispiness to it. So. Mm, again. Let me tell you guys, that is spot on amazing. Yeah. Might compete with some of these food trucks out here. You know it could, and it's not wrong. No. It's um, it's just a different flavor, and it'll bring you in. If you come here, try them. So I'm gonna go to finish up eating these right now. The same with all this other food we got. Um, definitely check out Havali out here on Buena Vista. Absolutely amazing. It's a it's a northern Indian and uh, Mexican. Uh, fusion cuisine. Again, it is on Buena Vista. Uh, don't miss their happy hour all day Sunday. And once again, food spot on. 100% probably one of our favorite Indian cuisines here in town. Yeah. 10 out of 10. 100% good. We're worth the drive. We would do it what, once a week. Well, easy, easy. easy. Um, yeah, love it. So, uh, guys, stay uh, safe and uh, stay healthy out there. Catch you guys in the next video. And also, please like, subscribe, hit that or the bell notification for future videos. Let your friends know. All right. So we we're about to leave right now, but we were craving a sweet tea. So we ended up getting gulab jolly, mm -hmm. no, gulab jamun, and kulfi. <laughs> I'm probably butchering, butchering that so bad, <laughs> but uh, they look good. We're excited to try it. So one is a like pistachio kind of ice cream, and then another one is kind of comparable to like a donut in a honey sauce-ish. Like a honey syrup. Yeah. So the kulfi is a pistachio like ice cream, like Katie's saying, and then the donut, um, and then like the honey syrup sauce, it's uh, gulab jamun. But uh, Katie, you want to dig in and uh, let us know what you think about it? Oh, I am very Ice cream? It is so refreshing. Uh, I thought it was gonna be so. I don't like pistachio ice cream. This is the most refreshing ice cream I've had in a very long time. Okay. I'm gonna try it right now. 
Alright, like Ace is showing ya. That's blurry. Well, that's what it looks like. Like a uh, typical ice cream, pistachio, yeah. so. Creamy too, that ice yeah. cream. Uh, you know, sometimes with an ice cream, it can be very, especially pistachio, very icy. This isn't that at all. Mm -hmm. So, this is like the donut y ish thing with the honey syrup. It's sweet. Very, 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 very sweet. I've had these a few times before at different places. Um, this one might be why is that too sweet or? The dough itself kind of is very. Um, like spongy? Spongy, that's a good way to explain it. She is very pink on her texture. I am. I don't, I'm not a texture person. So there it is right there. These are usually my go to for desserts. That and the mango lassi. And the mango lassi. Mmm. So, oh my god. Yeah, no, she's crazy. Don't listen to her. <laughs> Those are done perfect. <laughs> they are nice and warm, sweet, not too sweet. What I imagine the um, sauce with is like if you get a good, crunchy, crispy waffle and then put that sauce on it, oh, it would be phenomenal. And then it, so the texture of the actual ball, imagine if you take a donut and dip it in milk and you get that texture of that donut, that's it. I don't love that soft, like, no, cause it's not, it's not really falling apart like that. It is. It's, it's, it's not, like you said, spongy. That's way I describe it. Not but, favorite, but the, the sauce is... We should probably get some, take it to go for to some go. waffles. And make some waffles, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely amazing though. Definitely check yeah. these two desserts out when you guys come out here and eat. Yes. All right. See you guys next video. Take care. Stay safe.